In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Thanks be to God. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 11, verses 23 through to 28. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. He says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it swept and put in order. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. And it happened as he spoke these things that a certain woman from the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you, and the breast that which nursed you. But he said, More than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your word, that we can keep it and be true disciples of yours. In this scripture reading today from St. Luke, that first verse you may sound familiar. We read it just the other day. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. That's an important message we should always remember. And then Jesus goes on about unclean spirits, about how when they go out and through dry places and they can't find anywhere that they're happy, and then they return to the house which they came from. But when they get there, they see it all swept and clean and tidy. This, of course, does not make that spirit happy. But then he goes and gets some friends, seven others, and they enter and dwell there. And the state of that person, that man, is much worse than it was in the first place. Now here comes the message we must remember. And as he spoke these things, that a certain woman from the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you, and the breast which nursed you. Of course, the woman was praising the Theotokos. But Jesus corrected her. But he said, more than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Yes, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. There are many references in the scriptures about the word and the seed and sowing of the seed, which is the word of God. And depending on where it falls and whether the person hears it properly or not. Or at first they get, they get all enthusiastic, but that soon peters out. The more important message for us is when we hear the word of God, we keep it. We keep the commandments of God, the commandment of Jesus Christ to love. So many people these days 
I like the seed that falls on the stone and it blooms and straight away, but the, the heat and dryness, they soon wither. Yes, important for us. Always, I repeat, always show that the love of Christ, the important message that Jesus taught us, so many people forget about it, to love your neighbor as yourself. And as we've discussed before, who is my neighbor? Is it that cranky old guy next door? Or that really difficult boss you have at work? Yes, our neighbor. We read about the Good Samaritan. Yes, the poor man that was half dead on the side of the road was to appoint his enemy. But he had compassion on him. He didn't think about him being the enemy. He just cared for that person. Took care of that person. I have been seeing many attacks on people lately on social media. Many attacks on the church trying to divide it. It saddens me immensely, I must admit. It is a battle I have not to get really upset about it. I know I need to let God take care of it. And just to be what God wants me to do. To spread the word to spread the good news of the gospel, the love he has for us, all of us, no matter. Just yesterday I heard the word schism, or schismatic, the bitterness that was coming out of people's mouths. So the person disagrees with you, that's what a technique is. A schism is someone who doesn't agree with you. And because you disagree with me, I have nothing to do with you. Is that hearing the word of God and keeping it? I ask you. Is it? Love. Love your neighbor as yourself. The Good Samaritan saw a poor man beaten, half dead. He didn't think about him. Oh, he's a Jew. He's my enemy. I won't have anything to do with him. As so many others did. The priests and the Levites and that walking by. Ignore that poor wretch that was half dead. Yet, this poor wretch's enemy saw him, took pity on him, and took care of him. Yes, this is an important message for us all to remember. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. The word of God and keep it. Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you in your journey to learn to love your neighbor no matter, no matter who your neighbor is, whether he is a friend, family, or even enemy. someone who goes against you. Right. Important for us. Then we can call ourselves 
true Christians, followers of Christ, true disciples. Every day, give God the glory for all the blessings you receive during the day. Thank God for those times that you are being given an opportunity to love your neighbour. To be able to not only hear the word of God, but to keep it. Yes. And glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.